every executive in this room knows the cost of downtime. $22,000 per hour or maybe $50,000 per hour or even maybe $100,000 per hour for a critical asset. You bought into the predictive maintenance to stop this bleeding. And perhaps you saw a small win. But if your AI strategy is only focused on stopping the machines from breaking, then you're missing the real ROI. The problem is in the machine. It's the $10 million lost in opportunity that cascades to your entire business when the machine breaks. Hi, I'm Neeraj and today we are kicking off the brand new series AI in Enterprise, Manufacturing Strategy Roadmap. And this is the very first episode, the real ROI of predictive maintenance beyond the downtime. We need to move beyond the simple maintenance cost avoidance. Let's look at the three major levers AI unlocks that impact your PNL. OPEX efficiency or operational expenditure efficiency. Yes, you save on reactive repair, but more importantly, you eliminate the unnecessary preventive maintenance performed on perfectly healthy equipment. That's 15 to 20% of immediate saving on labor and cost. Capital expenditure deferral. Your AI can predict an asset's remaining useful life. Instead of budgeting $5 million replacement for the next quarter, your system might tell you that this asset has another three years. That's the capital freed up for the growth initiative. Inventory optimization. When you know a specific pump will fail in three weeks, you don't need to overstock with expensive spare parts just in case. This directly impacts the working capital, reducing $500,000 tied up for emergency spares sitting on the shelf. The shift from downtime avoidance to total asset and working capital optimization. How do you make this strategic leap? It requires moving through three stages of AI maturity. Stage one, diagnostic, simply alerting you when something is wrong. This is the starting point. Stage two, predictive, predicting when it will fail, the current industry standard. Stage three, prescriptive. This is the executive level value. The system doesn't just say bearing A will fail in 14 days. It says bearing A will fail in 14 days and we recommend delaying a repair by 10 days to coincide with the scheduled shutdown of line B, which will reduce the cost by 30% and maintain 100% production uptime. The prescriptive insights connects the maintenance data directly with the production planning and inventory management, maximizing your returns. The next step is not another pilot project. It's the data strategy audit. Ask your team these three questions. Is our maintenance data currently integrated with our ARP system? If not, your ROI is bottlenecked. Are we tracking the cost of unnecessary maintenance as a metric or just the cost of failure? Is our AI recommending prescriptive actions or predictive alert? In our next video, we will dive into another C-suite priority, Gen AI for supply chain resilience. How to de-risk your inventory and turn volatility into competitive edge.